Hi everybody, I'm Majunga Lala and I'm here with another Creative World creation. This one is pretty cool. So with this machine, you can sort of automatically either smoke or blast furnace anything you want. Um, so we have a smoker there and we have a blast furnace there. Um, anytime you are running low on uh, fuel, you open this up and it will just fill itself up again. So you see I took something, oh, and it's filled up again. So anything you put in here will be automatically filled to whichever of the uh, two devices there you have put underneath the hopper. So here we have blast furnace, here we have smoker, blast furnace, smoker. And then when it's done, you just go down here and it'll be down in this chest. I kept this all with glass so that you could kind of see what's going on under here. Um, this part's taken care of with a command block. Uh, this going back and forth is of course taken care of with pistons. But you know, you could swap that all to some other kind of block so you don't see what's going on there and just have access to what you need. Lift to fill this up. This one is a little short. Um, lift to add something there. You can just put signs around to say what you need to do and flip the lever to change machines. Go down here to get what you need. All right, so let's get going. Actually, I'm going to come back over here to my skulker so I can show you what you need. You're going to need two hoppers. Um, one that could be a chest or a trap chest, um, uh, about four uh, trap chests, um, five chests in all, uh, a smoker, a blast furnace, two pistons, and I think it's about six or seven pieces of redstone, a lever, uh, three stairs of your choice, I think there is only one command block here and one redstone torch. Um, and then whatever uh, block you want to put the uh, lever on, I used a block of iron, and uh, whatever block you want to put all around to cover things up, I use more iron. Okay, so let's run over here. You're gonna need approximately a five by five area and then down from the corner you go one, two, three, up two more, two, three, and then the next block up you just punch down three and then sort of punch the next one over and uh, this is a little bit easier you just punch out three in a row of three deep. Um, and then you're gonna put uh, this is where I put the regular chest because I don't really need it to be a trap chest. And then you put a hopper on top of it. And then you put one of the machines on top of that. And in front of that, you put the other machine. I put the uh, smoker first. So I'm gonna put the blast furnace in front of that. And then you are going to want one of your trap chests to be not directly next to um, the, in this case, smoker, but just below that. Now you gotta fill it with all your fuel um, using dried kelp blocks because they last the longest. Do, do, do. Still need a few more. More than I need in case any happen to fall in is what happened on that second one. And then we need another hopper. Now this one is going to go into the side of that machine. Just make sure you get that right. 
Now we are going to put another trap chest on top of there. And you want a command block behind it pointing into it. Whoops. Okay, you don't have to change any of the settings on this. You just have to put in the command, which is going to be a clone command. It's basically going to clone the chest that is two blocks underneath it um, to replace this chest anytime you open it. Um, that's why we're using trap chests, because when you open it, it uh, sends out a pulse. So um, we're just going to use relative coordinates here. And I happen to know that the direction I'm facing means that in front of the, uh, excuse me, in front of the um, trap chest there or in front of the command block there is actually uh, a negative one in X. And then of course two below is negative two on Y and Z is fine. And then the next coordinate is the destination for cloning, or not the destination for cloning, it's the, the two for cloning from. So we got the first set of coordinates, which is the from for cloning from, and then the two for cloning from. It's just going to be the same. Oops. Can't type today. Actually, honestly, I'm a little distracted by my cats who are next to me here. <laughs> um, and then the Finally, we have our coordinate for um, what we want it, where we want this clone to go, which is this space right in front of the command block, which is going to be just negative one, and then the same, and then the same. And then we want it to replace it, so we just say replace. Now we can test this by just opening this up. It was empty before, and now it's full of kelp blocks. Yay! Okay, um, we've got good progress here. Next thing we want to think about is the pistons. Mm, don't need that anymore. We're going to need this, uh, but we don't need that. Okay. Let's push forward right now. So we need one piston right in front of that. And it's going to need room to push backwards, so we need one piston, two spaces behind that. Then we need one space next to the piston in the back with one um, redstone torch like that. And you see that push them forward. And then we're just going to make the path over to that other piston from this block here and put redstone all around it. Okay, now I'm going to knock out this block because I'm going to throw down some stairs. Do, do, do. Kind of make easy access down to. Uh, this chest down here. And then I'm going to get my first block of iron, put it on top of there with a lever. Dust that out. Oh, yep. We've got the uh, pistons moving back and forth. So that's good. Next, we want to make sure that we have, and we could have done this sooner actually, I think I usually do, but Hopper on top, another chest. This one doesn't have to be a trap chest. It's okay if it is though. And this is gonna be where, where you put whatever you wanna, you know, process. And uh, let's just test it out actually. Let me see, um, what are some things we can do? Oh, here's some potatoes, sweet. And uh, what else? Oh, some iron. How about some iron? Okay. So we're currently over the smoker, so I'm going to put some potatoes in there. Just like, I don't know, three potatoes, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
and I think that should start to work. Whoops. There's two of them. And there's three of them. Terrific. Okay, I'm going to switch machines now. And I'm going to put one, two, three blocks of iron in there. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little froggy today. My allergies are bugging me. But hopefully we'll start to get some iron down here. Yeah, look at that. There's one iron. There's two iron. Ooh, and there's three iron. That's why we use a blast furnace, so it can it goes faster than a regular furnace. And then you can just um, sort of plop some blocks on top of this stuff. So it's not for the whole world to see, you know. Do, do, do you want to leave some space for people to go down there? And you want to leave that open so people can refill it if need be, but you want to, you know, hide that command block. And you can just sort of put all this sort of like that, and uh, you're good to go. And there's one last little piece to this. You don't want to have to wonder if your chest here for the fuel is running out or has run out. So knock this out. Place a redstone comparator. Place a block there and put a redstone lamp on it. Now Whenever this chest is empty, this light will go out, and you know to open this to refill it. How about that? And once again, this has been Majungalala, and I hope you enjoyed my latest creative world creation. Have a good one, and see you next time.